A young man from Fishers just made it back home from the Olympics with some pretty impressive hardware. If you haven't heard, his name is Noah Malone. Yeah, I got a chance to sit down with the man himself after he received a surprise hero's welcome. He shared with me how he kept his eyes on the prize after overcoming an obstacle that would change his life forever. This was the moment. The moment it all became real for Noah Malone. And then as I'm walking out in like the big open area in the airport, I see about like 40 people, friends, family, coaches, teammates. A surprise welcome home fit for a world champion. It was unreal. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to react. We didn't see this day coming. You know, there was no way um, five years ago. This surprise was a celebration. The surprise they got when Noah was only 13 years old was very different. He came home uh, first day of eighth grade, and uh, he said he could not see uh, the board. So we went that evening uh, just to get a, a regular eye examination, thinking he needed glasses. And uh, the, the doctor uh, said immediately that mm, something is wrong. And that something changed Noah's life. Diagnosed with uh, Labor's hereditary optic neuropathy. I was losing my vision, and I had so many questions in my head, like, Oh, will I still be able to run track? Will I still be able to, to read a book? Noah was used to being in different sports. Now he could only compete in one, track and field. People look at a disability and, and then lower their expectations. But not Noah. He started raising his. And then I think we knew we were on, on good, good footing when he went to HSC his freshman year and uh, broke a couple of records. I got introduced to Parasports. 2018. He made Team USA, then was on to the big stage in Tokyo. He competed so fiercely in the first race, in, the, in, the, in round one of the 100 meters. I said, okay, Noah's there. Noah, Noah showed up. Not only did he show up, he left Japan with three medals around his neck and a world there record to his name. And oh yeah, the kid who was once worried he wouldn't be able to read a book decided to write one. It's an amazing experience. I never really thought I would be an author and an athlete at the same time, just at 19 years old. You send the bar a little high for, for 19. If you can find that one thing that'll motivate you, it can take you a long way. I asked Noah about his favorite moments out of the entire Tokyo experience. Getting up on that podium was one, and this was two. He's our hero. He, he's my hero. Wow. Proud dad right there, just saying that, you know, he's my hero. And that's, that's awesome. He's a hero to all of us, overcoming the odds. I mean, just, just amazing story. I mean, Alexis, when you think of uh, 19 years old, I don't mm -hmm. know if you were planning on the Olympics. I know I was not author, planning for the but, Olympics. Yeah. I, look, the fact that this young man has served us so well as a country, represented mm -hmm. us, my goodness, in our own backyard, we are so proud of you. Not to mention, his hair is amazing. Yeah. So between those two things, mm -hmm. you got my vote. Oh, yeah. And, and so <laughs> check it out. He came home with three medals, mm -hmm. two silver, one gold. Um, the gold was a world record what? Uh, with the relay team. So wow. that's, that's pretty amazing. And then uh, one of those medals mm -hmm. was in the 400. Whoa. He's only ran the 400 like three or four times. You know what? See, so, when they say favor is not fair, you better go on with your bad see, self, I, as my grandma would I, say. I can't believe that. <laughs> so I, I asked him uh, and his dad, he was just like, so what's, I asked him, what's next? Uh-huh. Like, well, like what, what is the thing that, that happens after you've achieved all this at 19? His dad was like, well, we just keep working hard. I know, that's right. I'm just like, I mean, that was simple. That was a nice, easy way yes. to, to tie that up in a nice little bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. I cannot wait to see what he does with his future. He has mm -hmm. so much ahead of him. Oh, funny other thing. Yes. He has uh, school tomorrow. So uh, Listen. catch up on that sleep, man. You're going to need it uh, because dad wants them, them grades to stay, stay nice and tight. They need to give him that. extra credit for yeah. being extra special. Exactly. Okay. <laughs>